See, like, we can't just start the, 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 the video like that. Why? You know, we gotta address that. Okay, let's address this. All right, you guys ready? Class! Yes. Ah, okay, not bad. Not bad. First of the year. I'm hoping you guys are a little bit more excited about it. Now, I already warned you guys, this is gonna be the hardest unit of this trigonometry course, right? Yep. So, I'm, I'm not, and I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it or try to be, you know, nice about it. Yeah, this is the hardest one. But guess what? We get it out of the way and it's all downhill from here. Okay, so you got this. So fundamental identities for this. I hate the way that they teach this, so I made my own way. So, I really did. So, I hate a lot of the stuff that they have you do, because I think it's dull, boring, and could use your time better. So, we're going to do this. So, here's a fundamental identities. So, reciprocal identities, we know cotangent is going to be reciprocal of tangent, but a couple other things that go along with this. If you recall it as x, y, and r, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. x, y, and r. So in this case right here, cotangent is x over y. Tangent is y over x. So it's an easier way to do these. Instead of actually trying to remember all these things, just remember your x, y's, and r's. Now, when we're dealing with an identity, what is r? r is my radius, and my radius is... Yeah, it, yeah it's the hypotenuse, right? But what is, what is it going to be? r was always what value? The largest. Yeah, it's going to be largest, but it was always 1. When we're dealing with an identity... Identities, my R value is always one. Okay, it's gonna make life simple. R value is always gonna be one. So from here, if we're looking at this tangent, again, we said this is gonna be Y over X. Cotangent is X over Y. And these right here, we're gonna get more into this here in a little bit. There is identities for this. There we go. Okay. This, our Pythagorean identity. We've done this one so often last semester. We know it's always going to be x squared plus y squared equals 1. We're going to use that for everything. That is going to be all of these, and I'm going to show you how to rearrange it to make it work. So all you need to know is x squared plus y squared equals 1. <coughs> All right, finding trigonomic function values given one value in the quadrant. Okay, what do you know tangent is? What does tangent represent? Y over X. X. Tangent is Y over X, right? So Y over X. So it's Y over X. Tangent is Y over X. So three things I know is X y and r. Tangent is going to be y over x. And it says right here, theta is in quadrant 2. If you want to look at your unit circle so you can remember this, quadrant 2, which value is negative in quadrant 2? Which one's negative in quadrant two? The x value, right? The x value is negative in quadrant two. Is it too much to try and remember right now? Because I was hoping you guys got a little bit from it on the unit circle yesterday. So the x value is going to be negative. So right here, when I have a y, which is five, x, which is three, 
And because this is in quadrant two, the x value has to be negative. So that's why that gets a negative three. And if I want to find my other values, all I need is my x, y, and r. So when I was started teaching this in the second unit, x, y, and r is everything, all year long, it's all x, y, and r. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to actually find what my missing value is. So I'm going to have negative 3 squared plus 5 squared equals r squared. All right, three squared is negative three squared is nine, nine plus 25. equals r squared. Nine plus twenty five is uh, 30, 30, no, and how do I undo a square? Uh, you square root, right? Yeah. But what can you not forget? Do it both sides. Ah, uh, close. No. It can be positive or negative. Positive or negative, right? It's got to be plus or minus. Because when I take the square root here, I'm going to have a possible plus or minus. So it's going to be plus or minus the square root of 34 equals r. So plus or minus square root of 34. Now, r represents which value? Uh, the radius. radius, right? Very good, the radius. And we know the radius is always positive. It's always going to be positive. So my r value here is going to be positive. So my r is square root of 34. So now that I have my x, y, and r, I can solve anything I need. So if I want to find the secant, if you have your unit circle, secant is what over what? What is secant? R over x. Very good. R over x. R over x. So secant of theta. My r value is going to be radical 34, my x value is negative 3. Make sense? Nonsense? <coughs> Perfect sense, right? Good? Questions before I move on? All right, how about sine? I still have the same x, y, and r. Sine represents what? One. Over? Four. R, whatever r, whatever r. So if you, any of you guys still have the reference sheet that I gave you guys? It, it has the X, Y's, and R's on it. You still got your, yeah, that one right there. And it is right there in the middle. Anyone need them? Yeah. All right, so since sine is y over r, my y value here is 5. My r value is rad 34. But wait, there's more. You can't like, leave it like that. I can't leave it like that, right? I have to start to uh, so r and then actualize. Rationalize. Yeah. I need to rationalize this. So I'm going to rationalize by multiplying top and bottom by square root of 34. Which is going to give me 5 rad 34 over 34. If 
Feeling pretty good? Are we still okay? Uh-oh. Alright. Cotangent of the negative angle. Hmm. So, negative theta. So first, let's find where the where cotangent is supposed to be at. Where's cotangent supposed to be at? It is x over y, my x value. x value is negative 3, and my y value is 5. Now, from that reference sheet that I gave you there, that you have, the reference sheet, what's it say that happens to my negative? Uh, I think it's on the other side here. Oh, it's right there. Odd even identities. So tangent of negative x, it's under the odd even. Tangent of negative x is going to give me negative tangent, right? So since I have this, oh wait, same thing for cotangent. I'm sorry. Yeah, same, same thing for cotangent. So cotangent, so if this is my, so if cotangent of theta is negative 3 over 5. Negative cotangent of theta is going to become positive 3 over 5. It just changes the sign. So under the odd and even identities. Some of them don't change at all. Some don't change any of the values. So that's why you guys have that there. All right. Questions, concerns, complaints, conspiracy theories? Elon Musk is a robot. We all know that. All right. Before I start example two, I'm going to stop here. I'm actually going to stop here for the today. I want you guys to actually start looking at some of the problems that we have from the homework. So make sure you guys all like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button and support my channel. Uh, someone was supposed to help me with some merch, but no one did. I don't know who it was. You should open a PO box so people can send you copies. Oh, okay. Yes. Send it directly to the school. Hand deliver it. <laughs>